Hi guys, Chris here from Kite Republic. I uh, caught up with Sky Solback, long-term uh, shaper and head kite tester for North Kiteboarding to talk through everything 2018. Here's what he had to say about the new Trinity TX fabric. Um, yeah, the reason we're here at the moment is for the 2018 North Kiteboarding product range. And uh, while Sky was here, we thought we'd uh, steal him away for a few minutes and uh, just uh, get a little bit of that knowledge and the stuff that we don't get to hear that much of. So thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, thank you. Um, I guess firstly, Sky, the uh, the kite range is. Uh, I believe there's a change in the fabric this year. Yep. Which, uh, which is yeah, obviously quite an exciting and a big yep. thing to do. Yeah. Um, can you give us a quick rundown on? Yeah. That? So we're offering. Uh, so I'll just talk a little bit about what we were doing in the past, like with our with our D two fabric that we introduced. Uh, it was a cooperation with Tajan. We we did this fabric together. I want to say for probably even more than five years ago now, but that's what yeah. we've been using up to this point. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of hype within other brands on the market. They're they're using. Um, we kind of started this whole thing with using different fabric. There's yeah. a lot of other brands that are now kind of snowballing under that um, yeah. similar ideas. Um, there's some other ones out there that other brands are using, which we tested and and didn't go with for various reasons. So we weren't quite happy with the performance. Um, so we developed this new fabric together with Tajian, which is just a little bit different than our D2 fabric, and it's called Trinity TX. So yeah. Our D2 fabric was two threads running one direction, two threads running the other direction. Yep. Um, with the new Trinity TX, we have two threads in one direction and three threads in the other direction. Yep. And that may seem like people are going, ah, they're just adding another thread, like it's just yep. marketing gimmick, whatever. All right. Okay. It's it's slightly heavier than the D2. It's about one to two percent heavier, mm -hmm. so negligible, especially compared to some of the other ones that other brands are using. They're quite a bit heavier. Yeah. Um, but the way the interesting thing about it is the way that we're orienting the fabric. So we're running the three thread direction is going from tip to tip on the kite, mm -hmm. which is the direction where you wanna have that stiffness yes. to keep the arc and, and everything intact. Yep. And we're using the two thread direction to go from trailing edge to leading edge, which yep. is where you wanna have some so give and, and some flexibility. And flex and yeah, it absorbs yeah. the gas really well. Um, when, you, when you steer the kite, it allows the kite to flex and turn. Mm -hmm. So that's where we wanna have some flexibility. Yep. Um, the other cool thing about it is like when you crash a kite, mm -hmm. um, often you're pretty much all the time you're going to have the kite ripping from leading edge to trailing edge. Yeah. It doesn't rip the other way. Mm -hmm. So that's the direction where we have the three threads. And yep. so it's, that's going to be the most the terror resistant strength. direction. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, the other thing to mention is similar, just, just like our D2 fabric that we've had, um, each individual thread is coated before it gets woven into the fabric and then yeah. once it's woven it gets coated again so it's got this massive uv resistance and yeah it, so it, not it just that's, that's and to make a point of that that's <clears throat> not a standard practice by all brands exactly um, yeah like a, what, what yeah. Would, well, i guess what would the probably more standard or traditional style yeah would, how how would that well the, the threads wouldn't get coated before getting woven the yeah, fabric so would the be woven it would get it would get the um, the coating on the outside of it for UV protection, yeah. which lasts for a while. When you yeah. first get the kite, it's crispy that and crispy nice, feel, with yeah, that nice yeah. new feel. But over time, flapping in the wind and getting the, the UV breakdown, it, it definitely wears out a yeah. lot quicker over time. So we have that extra layer of coating that, that keeps it crispy a, a that, lot longer. Uh, that north extra super yeah. long uh, yeah. Yeah. lasting exactly. yeah. we'll Love it. <laughs> Well, Sky, thank you very much for thank your you. time and for joining yeah. us down here in Oz again. No worries. Yeah, great to be here. <laughs> and love this um, yeah, congratulations on a on a fantastic. I know you know there's a there's a huge team there as well, yeah. but it's oh, uh, yeah. some some amazing work, and we're super excited for uh, for the 2018 North Kiteboarding products. All right, thank you. Cheers for watching, guys. Thanks, guys.